Thanks alongside Dave Reed. The Canadians started the week losing to Norway, but that ended up being the wake-up call that they needed. They'll now play in a gold medal game for the fourth straight tournament, and a big reason why they got to this place, Dave, is the play of Samuel Montembeau. You have to have good goaltending if you want to have a championship team, no matter what league, what tournament you're playing, and Sam Montembeau does, has done that for Canada. Since the start with a 6 nothing shutout win in the first game against Latvia, he has been a tower of strength. You have different players in different games step up big time score goals. You have mistakes made in the game. Sam Montembeau has been a big time player in every game. He has made very, very few mistakes throughout this tournament. He has allowed his team to be in every game. He has allowed his team to win every game. He is probably the MVP in this tournament for Canada, and he could be the MVP of this tournament and best goaltender. Sam Montembeau has been that good throughout the tournament. It's been a great tournament for young players and young stars on Canada. If you just look at that third period against Latvia where they get goals from Jack Quinn and Adam Fantilli. This might be a turning point for uh, Canada bringing in the young players rather than the old stingy vets, but uh, Jack Quinn, an absolutely beautiful goal. But you've got to go even before that. You go against Finland early in the game against Finland in Finland in temporary Finland with the crowd hooting and hollering. Jack Quinn silences them early to get his team on the board. And then with his team down 2-1 in the third in the first minute of the period, he puts it up off the goaltender's helmet and in behind uh, the, 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 in the net for the tying goal. And then the prettiest goal, and this is an argument that a lot of people might say, but I think this is the prettiest goal determined so far. Adam Fantilli, the Hobie Baker winner, probably the number two pick in the upcoming draft. The 18-year-old for Team Canada gets his first goal in a men's world championship. He scored in the men's world junior championship over Christmas with a gold medal there, and he just gave his team the opportunity to play for gold medals. That was the game-winning goal against Latvia. And Canada now faces a German side that lost their first three games of the tournament, but they upset the Swiss in the quarters. Then they hand the Americans their first loss of the whole world, and they do it in dramatic fashion. They sure do, and, and only the way Germany can do it. This was a game that Germany battled hard. They were down too early. They come back. They have to score in the just over a minute to go with their goaltender out, and then it's Frederick Tiffles on one of two great opportunities in overtime, and this one, this is a, a thing of beauty. A little inside, out. He goes far side, over the shoulder, and in. This is a... Uh, I, I wouldn't say a team of destiny, but an unlikely team at the start of this tournament to get to the gold medal. But as the way they have played, the consistency they have shown throughout their lineup from goaltending to the, until the Tiffles goal, this is a team that does not quit. They're in every game, and they have proven to the world that they are well-deserving to be in the gold medal and game. Now they're looking to win their first gold, and it will be their first medal in 70 years while the Canadians are trying to win the title for the second time in three years.